Welcome to the Haas Hen House. Tonight we're fishing in our backyard. Uh, we have a tidal river that we're lucky enough to have. So when we get the chance, we're out there and enjoying our time. Um, tonight we're catching blue cat. Uh, they're on the menu. We've been waiting, waiting for a good month now to have them come across. We've seen some bluegill, so next comes the blue cat. Uh, we're going to guess around a three pounder, and today we're going to show you how we fillet a blue catfish. Okay, you'll have to pardon me if I make a little bit of mess with this one because it's been a, since last year since I've done one. So I will say, viewer discretion advised, you will see blood and it's a flaying of a fish so if you're a fisherman you're good otherwise be prepared for for guts and glory yes there will, there will be plenty of that because what we're going to do we're going to take this fillet here it will come, we'll come down here and here and take that and we'll do that on both sides then we're going to take the belly out all right there's some good meat here to be had and a lot of people miss that one isn't there a better part of the fish, which is the cheek? Uh, not on this fish, honey. Okay. No. You catch big, big rockfish, and yes, a lot of people miss that, and that's a, uh, it's a fantastic cut. It's probably my favorite cut on a big fish, but I haven't killed a big rockfish in a very long time. It's the delicacy of the fish, the cheek. If you have filleted fish before, you've seen this, you know what I'm doing. Just start that cut in the very front up here. And we're following the backbone right down along the spine. And following that until we catch the ribs. You can hear where he's actually mm -hmm. touching the ribs so you know where you're at. And blue cat is delicious, everybody. I mean, people think catfish and, ugh. You know, this, this catfish I have not enjoyed, but the blue cat and the fact that we have the tidal river keeps it cleaner, fresher, better tasting. Uh, they're invasive here, so we want them out. And we have no problem eating them up. Whether we're frying them, deep frying them, or putting them, sautéing them with a, on a cast iron with some lemon, tomato, and onion, practically. That's about it. Sorry, fish. That's his last breath. <laughs> <laughs> so he's cutting straight down, keeping that middle spine line down to the tail. And flying right in the middle of the tail and out. Actually, something a lot of people don't do that I do is I'll leave that piece right there. And I'll show you why here in just a minute. What it does is once I get my fillet cut loose, now instead of having to use a fork or something like that, I can take my knife, start right here, 